Hi, I'm Steve from Yamaha. I'm here with Anderson's TV at the NAMM Show 2016. Very, very proud to uh, show you the new Montage Motion Sequencer Synth. Okay? It's got two engines. It's got AWM engine from the Motif, but about 10 times bigger. Um, and it's got an FM engine as well, FMX. Superb, 128 note polyphony in both engines. So you can combine them both and you've got 256 notes stereo at the same time, which is awesome. Um, the FM is eight, os um, eight operator. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got 88 algorithms. And whereas the old DX was just sine waves, this has got seven different spectral forms, okay? So you can really, really mash it up and have great fun with it. On top of all that, you've got this in 16 part performance mode all the time. So you can switch between sounds without um, jumping or stopping the effects. Um, and it's got up to 32 internet effects at once. So by the time you've had 16 eight operator FM sounds and applied up to 32 effects on it, yeah, yeah. If you can't create massive, massive, massive sounds of this, then you're, uh, yeah, <laughs> you're in the wrong game. It's amazing. Um, so we've got loads and loads of backlights. Okay, so we've got beautiful controllers here that are all LED stepped. Perfect for live. You know, the core of everything is this super knob here. Okay, which flashes in time to the tempo or whatever's going on with it. And this doesn't have anything assigned to it, but what it does do is it controls all the rest of these eight, eight, um, eight sliders. So I can show you on here on this lovely touchscreen. I've gone onto my Rhodes gallery, okay? So I press enter, I've got five different Rhodes sounds straight away. And as you see, when I'm turning the knob, some things are increasing, some things are decreasing, which is great if, you're in, if you've got like a, a screaming synth lead and you want to ramp up the, like the cutoff and the, the frequency, you can also then ramp down the volume at the same time so you don't deafen people and blow speakers. So very intuitive. And you can also control it with your foot. So you can actually play at the same time. Okay? And that's the core of this. Super cool. Very, very cool. Um, as we said, we've got the touch screen. Okay? And at the moment I'm in live mode. So this is perfect for live. I've got all my user, user files here. Okay, and I can put little notes by them, so I can see I've got bass up, D minor lead, held start, super knob melody, just to keep me going, keep 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 uh, keep me in mind of what I'm doing. Um, as I said, two different engines, but they can be layered. As you see on here, I've got AWM plus FMX. Some of the sounds are just AWM sampling, some of the sounds are just FM. The beauty is when you actually merge them together and you get something extremely powerful. Of course it's Yamaha, it's got a beautiful piano sound, it's got um, full aftertouch, you've got assignable control wheels up here, you've got features over here for the assignable buttons, you've got your ribbons. Something new to a high-end um, synth for us is the fact that it's also a, a, an audio interface as well, which is killer. So I've got my AD input here, which I can turn on and off, and I've got my gain. This actually operates as a six input, 32 hour audio interface, okay? So although I've only got two physical inputs on the back, left and right, okay, I can take um, a further two stereo returns from the computer. So I could even run, I could run YouTube on channel three and four in stereo through it, and then I could process another VST. So if I was using, I don't know, if I was using Massive or if I was using Prolog or something like that, I can run that on channels five and six and use the internal effects engine so I can free up the computer. So it's all about integration with the computer so you're not crashing your computer, loading up with all the, with the, all the um, effects. Use this because it's what it's meant for, okay? Um, and 32 out, so 16 stereo outs recorded simultaneously so as the hub of a studio. So cool. I mean, it's, got, it's, got it, it's got it all going on. Um, some things are kept from the Motif, so over here it's really easy to find your sounds. So I've got category search, and I can go in here and I can say, right, attribute. Do I want to look at the sampled sounds, or do I want to look at the FM sounds, or do I want to look at a mixture of FM and sample? There you are. What? What category, what bank? I can have a look at FM strings. Brilliant, and it's all all in nice categories. Really, really simple. Go to all strings, page down, page down. And if you want to put one in your live set, it's so simple. I've got okay, mellow heart, shift, live set, choose a slot, bosh, it's in my live set. You know, if I want to edit it. I can say, okay, well, it's an acoustic instrument, so I like all my acoustic instruments to be purple. And it's purple. If I want to add a note by it and say harp is nice, harp, nice, done. And there it is. You know, so it's quite cool if you're going through going through your set and you have to remember, well, you should need prompting because you're all professional musicians, but it, should, it, it just helps you prompt. And I can see because I've got all my... Uh, 
my prompts here of what makes the sounds sort of sound quite nice. So, awesome. Enough chatting. Some demo sounds, okay? Ones I'm going to concentrate on because there's going to be plenty of chan chances to see all of the beautiful um, like pads and all the beautiful electric pianos. It's a given. Um, we're going to see some sounds that are used the AWM sampling as well as the FMX and how you can sort of like switch between the two of them. One of my favourite ones for demonstrating that. FM for airports, okay? So you've got. So we've got a really FM bell time. You've got a pad coming in. You've got some weird strings effects there, which are all on sampling AWM. And then using the super knob, I can switch between the AWM and the FMX. So. Changing the layers, it's now moving from AWM to pure. <laughs> now I'm bringing back in the pad and the effects underneath. So powerful, it's beautiful. Um, yes, you've obviously got beautiful. Um beautiful pianos. I've got my roads again. I can go in here and I've got different scenes which I can call up. This is cool. So, if I had, for example, a piano, you know, I'd have that on scene one. If I wanted to have a piano on strings, I might set up to scene two. If I then wanted to have a piano with loads and loads of reverb, all I have to do is set the reverb and then just click on scene, program it to three. And so you've got live live access to sort of loads of different different scenes. So here I've got Rhodes Gallery. Yeah. Next Rhodes. Bit more harsh. Key off samples. And you see here the super knobs controlling all sorts of wonderful things going on at once. Yeah. Great fun. Okay, more, more synthy stuff. So back to my live set. I've got what's this? Dub rock bass. Okay, so now we've got quite a powerful sound, and I've got a vowel, a vowel effect assigned to the mod wheel. So But the super knob here is controlling not only the filter and the sound of the sound of the instrument, but it's also controlling um, how it's played. So it's also controlling the portamento. So I'll show you. I'll control it with the FC7 here. Um, another different thing, I've sort of got the motion sequencer, okay? This gives you an example of what's happening when you're talking about motion sequencing, okay? So, let's play, I've got a nice TB303-esque sort of squelchy acid sound. So now that's going through lots of steps. It's like a, a step sequencer for LFOs, you know? And so you can program it to go up and down, different ramps, you can program it to volumes, you can program it to envelopes. You can really, really go mad with it. But that gives you an example. But because it's also like I've got motive technology, I've got all my arpeggios as well. 10,000 different types of ARP. Let's just pick. Messy, messy, messy sort of potential. Um, and I'm going to show you the difference between this and the last motif and the moxes with this SSS seamless sound switching. Okay, so I've got a beautiful piano. I can bring in a pad, which is an FM pad underneath. Here. Select an X 
sound. Doesn't stop. No change. And Supernop here is giving me a bit of delay and reverb. Yeah, all those controls, parameters it's doing. Ah, it's beautiful. And then leave you with this one. This is AWM arpeggios, pads, FMX, and motion control all going in one to make a beautiful, beautiful um, ambient sort of um, arp. So. of the side chaining very very simple so I was talking about you can take a, an audio input you can make it um, automatically side chain you can also attach a um, envelope follower to the audio input which basically means I can stick a microphone in the bass drum of me acoustic drummer and I can set this to follow his BPM and I can play my arpeggios and it will keep in time with him and I can also set that audio input to do all sorts of cool things. So I could, for example, set set a wah wah on an electric piano to kick in with a max, maximum depth every time the bass drum hits. Yeah, and I can also try and play a side chain. So I'll give you an I'll give you a little example. One of these tracks here. This is taking the side chain and it's actually just taking it from MIDI channel one where a bass drum is. Okay, I could have it coming from an audio input source. Or I could have it coming from anywhere, but I've got it from a bass drum on C. Up the top here. I've got a, like a trancey pad. Again, sounds lovely. Lovely. This gives you an example of how easy it is. And you hear it ducking every time the, the, the bass drum kicks in. Simple. So yeah, very, very powerful. And it could transform how live music is, you know? Because at the moment you've got, I know when I'm on stage, I'm very much detached, so everyone else is all apart from um, like side chaining. Okay, everyone's all tied in together with Ableton and with Cubase and with the electric drums. And when I do a bit of synth lead, I stick out like a sore thumb because I'm, I'm on my own. But now I can take an, an input source from uh, DTX, chuck it into the audio input, and I can apply a side chain from the drummer. And so now when I play my synths, I'm in perfect time with the rest of the band, in theory. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to change the way I play. Well, thanks, Steve. Fantastic no demo. When can people expect to see this one? May. Awesome. Thanks, brother. No problem. Take care. <laughs>